that's a similar thing. And then how they attack green on is more of a red. So it's kind of interesting how the outcome came out. And then there's a bunch of generic hybrids on the market now. There's uh, Calrim, Catlam, Spring Fragrance. Uh, I forget where they got registered, but very nice hybrid. Catalanthe, I can't see it. Cigar wax, very waxy flowers as you can tell in the picture. And then Hingsin uh, Pink Doll, uh, very popular hybrid in Hawaii, a lot of people like that. Potting media. Um, there's a variety of mixes you can use. There's orchid bark, fur bark, kiwi bark, cinder moss, and the list goes on. Um, I use a mix of orchid bark and perlite, uh, sometimes charcoal depending on what I'm growing, or no media at all, uh, just an empty pot. Uh, so this is an example of just a plant in an empty pot, no media at all. All healthy roots. Gets watered every day, and the roots are just crazy going out of the pot. Mm. <laughs> but a lot of people have hard time growing cattleyas and moss, but I've been using clay pot and sphagnum moss, and it's growing perfect. <laughs> Pots, caskets, moms. There's many pots on the market, um, and I recommend using high quality pots for your plants, especially the expensive ones. I use these um, Barnett's pot. These are on Amazon. You don't need any packing peanut shredders, very good drainage on the bottom. Or you can use um, baskets, wooden or plastic baskets, or mounts like kapu'u or um, untreated wood. Okay. Water and fertilizer. Over watering will kill your catalytics. You like to dry out. Um, and of course, that depends on the media you're using. Um, if you have your catalytics mounted or in baskets, you can water it daily. And I recommend using rain water. Depending where you live, I live in Hawaii, our water is pretty bad. There's a lot of um, chemicals and salts in the water. So you use rain water, it's free as well. Uh, and I also use Island Supreme Orchid Special 13 through 13. Um, that can be found at uh, City Mill, Home Depot, Koala Farmers, and then Nutricoat, slow release fertilizer that can just be placed on the media. Um, I don't know if Jeremy is selling that. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, light. Um, cat layers like bright indirect light, uh, about 40 to 50 percent shade. Um, my whole greenhouse, uh, my 20 by 20 greenhouse is 50 percent shade, but it seems a little darker. It's perfect. Okay, keeping things clean and in good condition. Uh, using insecticide, um, and that can be soapy water and alcohol uh, to control pests and insects. Uh, also, fungicide side to prevent rot or uh, any fungal problems. Uh, I use Bison Point uh, at the bottom here. Uh, that's a foreign one, a fungicide, outside, bactericide, and viricide. But caution, that doesn't prevent orchid viruses. Uh, during the pandemic, people were using this to sterilize their packages from the UPS drivers. And always use your PPE, your personal protective equipment, when using any harsh chemicals. That's gloves, masks, etc. And there's some examples of what pests can, can attack the catalyst, their scale, which is horrible, spider mites, and really bugs. Viruses. Um, I feel this is a, a very important thing to talk about. If you have a catalea that has very obvious color breaks in the flower, that's an indication that your plant has a virus. And there's no cure for viruses in orchids. So no cure equals thrown in the trash can. Yes. And it's best to be safe and sorry. Many orchid growers in the mainland that have a small enclosed greenhouse, the whole collection got virus just because of one plant. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
So the best thing to do is sterilize your tools. If you have one of those uh, camping torches, you can sterilize your cutting tools and um, just maintain a clean area. Okay. The importance of tags. Um, I'm very uh, anal about this. It's very important to keep your tags in your pot. Have it attached to something. Um, knowing the name of your plant, you can ask for help or research the culture. And it's also good if you're selling plants to uh, The first picture in Jovium Parisii, uh, the Honohono species, uh, just an example, uh, the alba uh, means that it's the white form, and the floor end means it's a tetraform, so bigger flowers. And the last picture is an example of a misprinted tag, um, the Jovium Little Sweet Scent Winnie Lay. But on the tag it says we need yeah. uh, So always make sure your tags are printed correctly. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'll take any questions. Where do you buy the Fizan 20? Uh, Fizan 20 can be purchased on Amazon. Actually, um, B, I carries it, but it's like two hundred dollars for a gallon, so it's not cheap. Mm -hmm. So I buy in bulk. I buy uh, maybe like three of these bottles a year, and it, I go through it pretty fast. Yeah. But I think this is on eBay or Amazon for like twenty bucks. What is it called? Buy them twenty. Twenty by twenty. Uh, buy them. Yeah. 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 That one you have to. They, they were easy to get, but because um, it can cause cancer, you must have yeah. cancer. So I, when I go spray any fungicide or insecticide, I have a full body suit that I wear. Okay. My respirator mask, my boots, uh, gloves, yeah, my feet gloves, all of that. I even keep my gloves if I only have short hand gloves. You can let them go, but what else you can do is um, soak the roots in water and then wrap it around the pot so it all stays all in the pot. Yeah. So what the the pot water. Water. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, sometimes if the roots get too long, it might travel down into a pot that's underneath it and then you have roots growing in that pot from that pot hanging in the Well, it's not like a bonsai, you can trim it You could trim it if you want, yeah. Can't they have Another example, uh, and I use these uh, hydroponic material filters, and I just shove it in the pot, just like that, and it's all growing in between. And I save a lot of money on not buying any media, but the water bill is high. Any other questions?
about the Mormons. Because it's not a problem because they make holes in your marriage. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, my friend on the bigger island uses the plastic dollars. Mm -hmm. but, uh, you have to keep moving it. Yeah. I don't want to pay $50 for a plastic dollar. They're pretty expensive. Yeah. What, what is it up there? Yeah. 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 Yeah.